This is the single most expensive piece of furniture I have ever bought. My living room set was a lot more than this, but it came with like multiple pieces. So spending this much on one item specifically was a new experience for me, but I'm actually extremely happy with my purchase. And I am going to be sharing the unboxing as well as some close-ups of this mirror with you guys today. It seems like mirrors are really popular right now because of the primrose mirror and like a bunch of fancy mirrors. I don't even know the names of, but I really like the idea of having a really large mirror and it has honestly brought a whole new vibe to my space. So I wanted to share that with you guys, especially for those of you who may also be interested in getting a really large mirror, you can make a wise decision. Hello, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kinsey. I'm the brand and web designer behind Kinsey Green Design. If you're not new, as always, so happy you're back. First off, I wanna say I ended up with a mirror from Urban Outfitters because I had limited choices. As in, mirrors are so popular right now. When I went looking for one to purchase, most of them were sold out. And on top of that, I wanted a mirror that was like really wide and tall, but the options I found were really skinny and tall for the most part. So the ones that I did find that were really wide and tall were pretty much almost all sold out. I only found a few that were still in stock and the one that really caught my attention was like a $1,200 mirror from some website I'd never really heard before and just wasn't comfortable spending that much on a store that I've never bought something from before. So that's kind of how I ended up with this Urban Outfitters mirror. I think it was an okay price compared to the other options. I mean, obviously it wasn't cheap, but it also wasn't the most expensive out of the ones I found either. And I'm actually really happy with my purchase. So I'm going to share the whole delivery, unboxing, timeline, and my overall thoughts about this mirror with you guys, as well as an early Christmas present that I received unexpectedly. It took quite a few weeks for it to arrive. And once I got it in the office, I realized how absolutely massive it was. I was a little nervous about getting a mirror delivered, but it was actually packaged really, really well. And they had a lot of foam in there to keep it from breaking. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, what happened? <laughs> yeah. It smells. Like that? Weird. Oh, no. Now, I wasn't a fan of these little ridges that I saw in the images before buying because I thought they were gonna look odd, but I actually think they add a lot of character to the mirror instead of it just being a standard smooth edge. It's so big that I can't even really get the whole mirror in the frame of the camera unless I stand like really, really, really far back. I feel like I know what it is. What, can you have to open it? Yes. Yeah. Super gentle, super gentle. Okay, I definitely know what it is. Close up. This is a very special kind of plant because it has albino genetics. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a little research. This is my first time propagating a plant. <laughs> The reason I feel like this brings such a different vibe to my office is because one, the mirror I had here before was really, really small and it was just like some cheap Walmart mirror. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. If you got a Walmart mirror, it works. I've had that mirror since I was in, actually maybe even since before I went to college. And it just seems like the one I had there was just so old and like it was almost nostalgic in a way, <laughs> like, you know, certain items, especially like stuffed animals or something that you've had for years and years and years, you look at them and you're just reminded of that time. And when I looked at the mirror that used to be in here, I was just reminded of like that time when I was like building my business out of my dorm room. And like, now I'm at a whole different place in life. So I feel like having this like brand new, really nice, 
expensive mirror kind of better reflects the time in my life currently. And the plant, of course, this little albino plant baby here, uh, definitely adds like a really clean, refreshing feel. I replaced the candle that was on my desk with the plant and the candle I had there, really nice, but every time I lit it, my throat would like have some reaction to it. So definitely needed some fresh oxygen right there. And I just love greenery in general. I have a crap ton of plants. I don't know if I've done a plant tour video yet, but I probably will at some point if I haven't yet or a new one. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend vlog and I will see you in the next video.